Hi everyone, my name is Damien Siqueiros and I'm a photographer and visual artist and this week I'm uh, opening an exhibition at the Art Gallery of Burlington, as you probably might know. Um, I was invited by them to, um, to exhibit this body of work called uh, 10 by 10 which is a part of, um, of a project with the same name, uh, organized by the artist James Fowler in Toronto, which invites uh, 10 queer photographers every, day, every year to photograph um, 10 uh, people that are queer, that are involved with the arts in, in Canada, and they, they are Canadian. Um, so the idea is to create or to do this project for 10 years and at the end have a thousand people that are photographed in, in this project, which is obviously uh, uh, an immense and very interesting uh, project. And the idea is to have representation of um, queer people in the arts. Um, before I, I uh, started the exhibition, um, I asked uh, the team from the AGV to send me some questions, things that uh, the public might be interested, interested to know about my work. And uh, one of the most interesting questions is like, what's, what inspires you and, and what brought you to work in, in photography? And one of the things that it would be important to clarify is that I don't necessarily feel myself as a, as a photographer, I feel a little bit more of a, a visual artist. And um, I would say that there's a slight difference. I think that you know, when you're a photographer, usually you concentrate on your relationship between you know, the camera and, and the real world. And that there's this sense of um, photography in some way being a, a, still a trace of reality, even though you know, there's a lot of you know, different tools like Photoshop or things to to change uh, your photography. Nonetheless, because of my process and uh, the way that I approach things, um, my work is a little bit less about um, you know, photographing as it is about creating the whole process um, together to give a certain meaning that ends up in, 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 a, in a photograph at the end. I'm gonna speak a little bit more about this later when I speak about my process. Um, but in terms of inspiration, there's there's three specific things that I that usually use as blocks to explain uh, what inspires me. The first and the easiest one is is beauty. Um, beauty for me, it's something that it goes beyond the ornamental, um, just to look pretty kind of thing. You know, adding to the images. Uh, for me, beauty is about the catharsis uh, that produces in the public, but also very importantly, the emotional connection that I can have with the public and to engage uh, with the piece. I think that a, a piece or an image that connects uh, in, on an emotional level with the public stays with the public for a longer time and engage in a, in a different way. It's more of a conversation rather than just, you know, uh, the artist imposing a view on, on the public. Um, the second one is dance. Uh, dance for me, it's, it's, it's been um, a really important source of inspiration because um, dance in general is a very abstract language. It's not, it's not like spoken or literary language that you, in which you can explain everything as it is. You know, you can be very detailed. When you pass through the language of dance, you can abstract a message and then, you know, you can photograph it in a way that it's not a literal um, representation of, of what you're saying. So, for example, if I'm speaking about, you know, global warming, I don't necessarily need to represent, um, you know, a glacier melting or something like that. I can I can work with an interpreter and or with an artist that works with dance and, and sort of translate that into a language that, that works to represent um, an idea about global warming. Um, the third thing is my artivism. Um, for me, um, usually it's, it's more interesting when, um, when my work is attached to a social cause, uh, when there's a meaning and um, when there's something that I have to say about, about the world and about social justice. And there's two things that interest me the most. The first one is the construction of gender identity. 
um, in that this sense, um, I don't necessarily go and criticize specific things about gender identity, but when I, what I want to do is for the public to question themselves about the rules that, const that construct those identities and to um, go and question uh, the specific roles that are attached to a certain um, biological sex. So if you're a woman, you need to do this, this, and this, and this. And if you're a man, you need to be, you know, like a provider, and you need to be, you know, the, the patriarch of the, of the family, and, you know, you need to be brave. And if you're a woman, you know, you you can, I'm going to say very outdated things, but, you know, you need to, you know, take care of the, the children and... Um, and you know maybe maybe cook or maybe you know dedicate to certain um professions that are related to caring which is still not outdated a lot of women even in in countries where equality you know is flourishing women tend to go to a certain um certain careers and and not go to others and um for me, that's that's really interesting to observe those uh, those rules that create uh, gender, um, just because I feel that that uh, once you understand them, you can liberate from them, and you can choose actually the ones that work for you, and um, and let you um, explore your full potential. And this is not only about you know equality and and getting women to the place that they they should be completely as equals as as men and having the same opportunity, but it's also about men understanding. Um, how to get in touch a little bit more with their their feminine side and be a little bit more accessible emotionally and and give women the respect that they deserve as well um so um in terms of gender identity that's that's the main things that i treat in my work and in this specific series is um about um non-normative gender identities which usually tend to to be called queer or you know like um people from the lgbt community um, and the other topic that for me is really interesting is uh, global warming, uh, which is a, a topic that I'm only starting to explore and that will be featured in my next, um, in my next projects uh, called uh, Terra Sapiens. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit more of the other questions in the next uh, video, so hope to see you in the next videos.